Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I have been in a habit lately of not doing videos on Monday, but so I'm getting caught up today. There was an earthquake along the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone or Blanco Transform Fault yesterday. Let me go to that location. It was a magnitude 4.2. And you can see we have a lot of earthquakes along this location. There was four felt reports sent into USGS all the way to Portland intensity level two, which would have been late, um, light shaking, it looks like. One report from Rockaway Beach intensity level one. And I don't see where the other reports came from. Interesting, it came uh, most of the reports came from uh, the Northeast. More about why that was so interesting. So here you can see the first wave of the earthquake came from the North. Uh, tension is being applied going oh Northeast a little bit. The Blanco Transform Fault Zone is approximately 350 kilometers or 217 miles long. Um, and it varies in width between 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles, um, as wide as 75 kilometers, 46.6 miles. The uh, Blanco Fracture Zone starts about 150 kilometers or about 93 miles off of Cape Blanco. This is also an area where we got a tear on the Juan de Fuca plate when they separated. This area consists of a series of deep basins interrupted by transform faults in between. The western part of the fracture zone from the, what they call the Cascadia Depression to the Juan de Fuca Ridge. The Cascadia Depression is broke down into two different um, areas. I found an image for you. Here we got, it says West Blanco Depression, East Blanco Depression, Surveyor Depression, Cascadia Depression, Blanco Ridge, and the Gorda Depression. See all that through here? But what's really interesting about this location is that the depression is elongated about 20 kilometers or 12 point miles in the northeast southwest direction see that big dent there there's the magnitude 4.2 this area has roughly 500 meters or 1640 feet of sediment along the floor of the depression that is deep so where did all that sediment come from this might shock you what they call it the uh, sediment is tributites it's layers upon layers of different um, sand and rock and gravel, things like that. Yeah, this 1,640 feet of sediment is from tributary flows originating from the Missoula floods. Many of you probably say, Missouri floods? I never heard about that. Have you heard about the... Um, Washington Dry Falls or the Scablands. A 1,600 feet of sediment. And it all came from up over here. Let me bring you there. Right there. There is Dry Falls. When the uh, ancient glaciers melted about, what, 12,500 years ago, there was a rush of water that scoured out the whole area here in uh, the state of uh, Washington, uh, Montana. Scarred it out when that ice dam broke. Scarred it out where there, there's basically no dirt left there even today. And all that dirt and rock actually flowed all the way down here where there is now over 1,600 feet of sediment. Different geologists have different reasons for the sudden melt 
of the um, glacier ice. Some say it was 40 uh, different time periods of freezing and thawing and flowing. But to flow so far down all the way here off the coast of Oregon, it must have been traveling at some great speeds. Others say it was during a time of a meteor shower when the earth was impacted with multiple meteorites that suddenly melted all that glacier ice. Here we have another image of that glacier ice in the areas that they believe that was suddenly impacted. We got the Columbia River, the Willamette River, Portland. I'll give you an idea. There's uh, Mount St. Helens. This occurred during the Younger Dryas era. And I did a video recently about it showing some of the um, black matte locations of where the impact areas probably were at during that time period. And you can see number A here. Actually, letter A um, up there by uh, the Washington, Montana location. A lot of people, too, don't realize that uh, before the melt of the glaciers, our ocean's levels were actually 400 feet shallower than what they are now. And you talk about different archaeological and land masses that you would see on Google Earth um, indicating possible habitation along the coastlines that, you know, when with, they were 400 feet shallower. Yeah, you can see different areas where there was huge um, sediment that was washed down into the oceans during that melt of the glacier period. Yeah. Used to be able to see out here um, what actually looked like uh, construction. Some really some strange lines that were out here that has since been removed by Google Earth. Yeah, probably brought up too many questions about what those structures were. And as you know, sediment fill, um, actually, when they have earthquakes, it actually shakes more, um, kind of like uh, quicksand, yeah, or a bowl of jelly. Yeah, so this is an area that was impacted during that time of the glacial retreat, either quickly or maybe over several um, thousands of years. They, some scientists say it was like 40, 40 times that the glaciers froze and melted. And then others have more, more recently come up with different hypotheses of these asteroid impacts. Um, the black mat is actually uh, the fauna, the trees um, that were burned up. Um, during that time, which makes me real curious because at one time at my house, um, my first house that I bought here in South Dakota, um, I was working on a, a bomb shelter and was digging down. And I got down to that area of what they call the black mat. And there was these huge chunks of burnt up some kind of plant matter, a whole line of it. When I got down, probably um, six, maybe to 10 feet, I want to say it was just amazing to see that line of black through the soil. Anyways, I'll give you links to these different documents. Thank you very much for watching. I thought it was interesting. This was an area, yeah, 1,600 feet of sediment. Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, please share, and make sure you're still subscribed. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.